All right, I'm sitting, I'm watching the end of the Mets game. Uh, that's why I'm sitting on my couch right now while I record this. And it's just, it's ridiculous. I couldn't wait for the Mets game to end. They're super entertaining. It's just another loss for the Yankees. It's another time that they blew another opportunity where they had a game right there. Would have been a great win. You sweep. And I said this before the game. I said this on WFN this morning. You had to win that game to prove that the series was real. I don't care that you took two or three from Baltimore on the road in Baltimore going into the break. That doesn't prove anything to me. Oh, Luis Hill is back. Garrett Cole is back. No, that all is useless to me because of what you did on Sunday. And I thought it was going to be Carlos Rodon. I didn't know how they were going to find a way to lose that game. If they would have just gone quietly in the ninth to Craig Kimbrell, sure, it would have been bad. This is just inventing ways to lose. And after the game, I'm thinking to myself, I'm going... Man, this is such a 21 loss. Oh, wait, or maybe it's a 2022 loss. Or maybe it's a 2023. What loss does this loss re resemble most? What season does this loss re resemble most? The answer is all of them. Because since 2021, for now four consecutive years, the Yankees have constantly lost games like this. It's when you need it most, when it feels like you have to have it, when the game is in the bag and already won, that's when they find a way to blow it. The Yankees have been doing this now for four, and you want to go back to 2020? They did it in that year, the COVID year too. This is now five consecutive seasons that the Yankees have been doing this time and time again, particularly in Sunday games when they have the series won or in rubber games when they need the win and going into the all-star break, what could have been a momentum shifter. This is exactly like the loss after the, the another time, the Ben Rice just trying. Ben Rice is dying to save the Yankee season. Whether it's the home run, the three home runs that he hits against Boston, or now the huge three-run home run that hits off of Craig Kimbrell. And by the way, I've said this before. I'll say it a thousand times. I hope. I'm so glad Craig Kimbrell has been pitching well going into this game because I hope the Orioles don't trade for a closer. I hope that if the Yankees end up facing the Orioles in the playoffs, they get to face Craig Kimbrell in the ninth inning because I don't trust him. If I'm an Orioles fan, I wouldn't trust him. I've seen enough Craig, Craig Kimbrell in my life to know that he gets beat. He always does get beat. But Ben Rice hits the three-run homer off of him, and it's like, wow, this kid won't let this team die. This kid's getting them to the all-star break with at least a respectable a sweep. You feel good about yourself. Yes, the last month and a half sucked, but you're going into the all-star break in first place, a sweep of the Orioles in Baltimore. It feels like the season's right in front of you. You take a break, break take, a, take a deep breath, and turn the season around. Instead, you find a way to lose. And the Yankees have been finding ways to lose. And look, I'm not even going to blame Clay Holmes for this loss. Obviously, um, obviously, Soto was awful in this game. Judge, they didn't even pitch him. There's no reason to pitch the judge. Why would you pitch the judge? There's no cleanup hitter. This team has so many holes. And the last 25 games for Alex Verdugo, a 158 average, 220 on base, 228 slugging. That is atrocious. That's 109 plate, plate appearances. Anthony Volpe's last 41 games, 191, 222, 270. And Clay Holmes in his last 10 games, 0 and 3, a 7.45 ERA and a 3 and a 302 batting average against. And it wasn't even, it was on Verdugo and Volpe. Aren't you glad we didn't trade away Volpe when they had the chance to trade him for Luis Castillo or they had the chance to every move that they could have made, they could have traded him for Luis Castillo. They could have gone out and gotten Corey Seager. They could have gotten any of these shortstops. No, it was, oh, Volpe's the future. Don't worry, Volpe, Volpe, Volpe. It's the same thing we're hearing now about Spencer Jones, about Jason Dominguez. It's hugging the, these prospects until they're absolutely worthless pieces of garbage on your roster, like Labor Torres, who you're not even going to re-sign eventually. That's how bad this team is. This team cont continuously and consistently does this with the prospects, where they hug them, they, they overvalue them, they value them way more than they're actually worth, and then when they're loser players a few years later, they have to get rid of them for nothing. It's happening again with Anthony Volpe. It obviously happened with Anduar, with Gary Sanchez, Greg Bird. Now it's it's in the middle of happening with Gleyber Torres, and it's going to happen with Volpe too. And guess what? It'll happen with Spencer Jones, and it'll happen with Jason Dominguez. This team is constantly playing, just kicking it down the road, kicking the can down the road. Oh, no, we're playing for next year. They constantly want to be in Jose Iglesias' his fourth hit of the day. Mets have the are going to bring the tying run to the plate uh, with one out in the ninth. This is great. Um, 
But this is what the Yankees do. They kick the can down the road over and over and over again and just tell you, oh, yeah, well, in a couple of years, they're going to be great, so we're going to compete then. No, I'm tired of that. And guess what? Today's game proves something to me. If they would have swept today, I really think, and the Yankees might still do this because they're the Yankees, and they're just so arrogant, and they literally, they, they treat the fans like we're so stupid, like we're dumb. Today's game, had they won, would have been exact. The Yankees would have been like, well, see, look what we did. We swept the Orioles. We got it back on track. We don't need to make big moves at the deadline. Everything's right here. Giancarlo's going to come back. Dominguez is going to come back. Rizzo's going to come back, and we'll be fine. We'll go into the playoffs. This is perfect. If they would have done that, that would have been worse. So maybe, 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 finally, another one of these losses, another loss that we saw for the last five years that the Yankees keep losing games like this. Maybe this is finally the straw that bakes the camel's back. Maybe this is finally the loss that gets this Yankee organization, gets this Yankee team and management to look in the mirror and say, this franchise is broken. Tells you what we all know. This organization, this franchise, this team, is broken. They need a major shakeup. In 2021, it happens to be that was the last time they decided, okay, at the deadline, we need to make a major shakeup. They traded for Rizzo. They traded for Gallo. Ultimately, they weren't the right moves. Those players didn't work out. But that was the last time it felt like, oh, we, they went for it at the deadline. This needs to be another deadline like this. And today proves it. You have no cleanup hitter. You have no closer. And you have no leadoff hitter. There are many holes in this offense. Anthony Volpe is a bottom of the order. He is a number nine hitter who's a decent defensive shortstop. I don't see it with him. I really don't. Verdugo, fine. He could play left field, bat eighth. He's not a cleanup hitter. Ben Rice is a nice number six hitter. He's not a leadoff hitter. They need a real second baseman. They need a real third baseman. They need a cleanup hitter, and they need a leadoff hitter. J.D. Martinez coming to the plate to tie the game, potentially. This team is so broken. This team needs as much help as they can get. And today's loss proved it. So if the Yankees can't look at today's loss as an opportunity to grow from it, to look at it and look at themselves in the mirror and be honest with themselves and say, hey, here's what's actually happening here. This is not just, oh, we took two out of three from Baltimore. We're feeling good. We're only a game back going into the wild card, going into the all-star break. We'll be right there. Don't worry. The season's back on, blah, blah, blah. We saved our season. No. You had an opportunity to save the season. Instead, you blew it. And you blew it for the same reasons you've been blowing games for years. Lackadaisical play, bad plays on defense. Those two plays by Verdugo and, and Volpe. I can't even blame Clay Holmes for today. That's on, you know, he wasn't good, but Volpe and Verdugo had every opportunity to end that ball game, and they didn't. Just awful. And it's the same stuff over and over and over again from this Yankee team, and I've had enough of it. And I hope the front office and the management, I'm not expecting anyone to get fired, but maybe, maybe, just maybe, they've had enough, and they can look out and they can say, huh, these prospects that, that we've been hugging that have never worked out for the last five years, that we keep hugging these prospects, maybe it's time to move off of some of them so that we can actually take advantage of the fact that we have Garrett Cole in his prime, you have Aaron Judge in his prime, and you have Juan Soto in his prime, and it's time to make something of that. It's time to look at those guys and say, when are we going to have this opportunity? If not now, then when? This is the time to capitalize on this. And the New York Yankees need to figure out a way to make this team better, to get this team to where they need to go. Because clearly today is another case where it proves that this team is not championship caliber and they're not particularly close. And it wasn't, I thought it was going to be Carlos Rodon. It wasn't even Rodon. He was fine. Sure, he only threw four innings. But, and... We'll talk about it. I don't think you can start him in a playoff game, but wasn't even him. You can't even blame Clay Holmes. Oh, that's such a bad swing from JD. This is another case where the Yankees blew it. The Yankees had a chance right in front of them, and it's just they're just a loser team. They need to go out and change the identity of the team. Go get two star players, bring them in here, and change the culture because this team is broken right now. They can fix it. I hope they do. I hope today was that wake up call. I, I don't I don't know what it'll take. If if they don't wake up from this, then nothing will wake them up. That's the only hope. That's my positive spin zone. I'm sick and tired of yelling about how much I hate this team, about how frustrating and infuriating this team is. I'm tired of it. Thank God for the all-star break. It's just been five years of yelling about the same things. I'm done. Make the moves, get better, or just blow it up. Fire everyone. 
one or the other, choose Elaine Yankees. I- I'm so tired of year after year losses like this. And it's particularly losses like today, just like the game today. So there's a positive spin for you. I'm actually being positive. This is an opportunity. This is a chance to look in the mirror and say, we can be better. We can. We, it's right in front of us, like Boone always says. Yeah, they have a chance. Go overpay for a Vlad Guerrero Jr. Go overpay for pay for a Jazz Chisholm. Get both. Why not? Go to San Francisco and get Camilo Duvall and Matt Chapman. I would trade for both of them. Chapman and Duvall, and then go get Jazz Chisholm. Get all three. JD struck out to end the game. The Mets lose, but they're entertaining to the end. Brought the tying run to the plate. By the way, the Mets, I did think today was a big game. Um, but they take two out of three. I don't know how to feel about the Mets. I can't even think right now. They just lost going to the All-Star break. I think the Mets are fine, but I would have liked them to have won today. Like, I think today would have been, like, solidified everything they've done. Uh, they should have swept the Rockies. Yeah, there's no two ways about it. The Mets should have swept the Rockies. But the Yankees, the way they lost, it's worse than actually just the loss. It's the way they lost. And it's constant. They've done this a thousand times now. And so, go get better. You have the opportunity to go improve the team. Go improve the team because this just isn't good enough. And if not, fire everyone, blow it up, trade away Soto, get some return for these guys while they're in their primes and go to the all-star and and just bottom out. If you love your prospects so much, bottom out and build, build around Volpe, Dominguez, and Spencer Jones. You won't do it because you don't actually believe in them. That's all I got to say. Mets game is over. Yankees lose, Mets lose. Man, what could have been? Could have been going into the break, winning, both teams happy, excited, feeling good about where you are. Instead, it's the same old shit. New York baseball sucks again. See you after the All-Star break.